you know, one of the most, the biggest date of America, 4th of July, uh, most dogs don't like it, <laughs> right? So why they don't like it is because we don't do the proper introduction to this incredible day, to this meaningful day. So this is what I need you to do. Once you know that somebody in your pack feels uncomfortable about this incredible day, we can join in, okay? We humans can join in, meaning you can't, you can't feel sorry. You can't, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's the opposite of what our heart would do, right? But we, we wanna be more like a paramedic, right? We have to, because the dog is already feeling bad. So you need somebody who doesn't feel bad for you to see other ways to feel. Make, make sense? Okay, so number one, okay, your energy. And then knowledge. Okay, so how do I rehabilitate my dog uh, before 4th of July? Because most people wait until 4th of July. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's it, we, like I said, we're smart, but not too smart sometimes, right? Because <laughs> we wait for the last minute, right? And so, so, so right now, before 4th of July, you are going to grab uh, your, the sound from YouTube, whatever, and you're gonna play it at a low level as, you're, as you and your dog are walking, as you and your dog are doing come surrender activities or happy-go-lucky activities. You just find out. So come surrender is when the dog is like this. Happy go lucky is when the dog is like this. And then once the dog is in that state of mind, so I live in Los Angeles, right? So in Los Angeles, a lot of people practice yoga and meditation. And so yoga and meditation is, is, is the uh, discipline of practicing calm surrender. Okay, so uh, as you can see, humans practice calm surrender. So then once your dog is in a calm surrender state, you play this sound that your dog normally don't like. So that way they make the association. Or if a dog is doing happy or lucky, playing with other dogs, having a good time, you play the sound. So that way they start attaching it. Never surprise the dog, okay? Never surprise the dog uh, uh, with the sound. So, or you can just go back and watch one of the episodes I did that I rehabilitated a dog with post-traumatic stress that came from Iraq and, and the, you know, the, uh, he, he went a purple ribbon, but he developed uh, uh, post-traumatic stress and, and it was all sounds including 4th of July and so they wanted they wanted Gavin to be retired and it was a Labrador by the way uh, they wanted Gavin to be retired but they knew how to train him to find explosives they just didn't know how to rehabilitate him right so what did I do I created a, reha a, a virtual rehabilitation trailer where I put a treadmill and then once Gavin was in a good zone I would play the sounds and so Three months later, he was rehabilitated. He was really bad. Remember, this guy was put into like, in the real case scenarios, like in war zones, right? So he was, he was, he was, like I said, he won the purple ribbon, but he came back with post-traumatic stress. So it doesn't mean all dogs take that long, right? In three months, it's not that bad, right? But at the same time, uh, I, I, just for you to know, you know, the time is, is something that uh, the, a lot of people want to see like quick, quick, quick results. Yeah, you can see slow, like I said, slow little things, they are actually good to build on. But first thing is, find when your dog has come surrender, okay? It's the, it's, the, uh, it's the same thing as meditation or prayer or like being at the, uh, at the uh, library and, and they ask us to be quiet and calm and open-minded, right? I want you to understand the state of mind because it's very important when you play the sound. Or most dog lovers understand the happy-go-lucky. Right, the, the, when the dog is playing, and then that's when you play the sound. And then slowly, 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 the dog listens to a low level, and then you increase this, the, the, uh, the sound. And then of course, on, on the real 4th of July, you take that dog for the longest walk ever. A tired dog is gonna, is gonna be much, much easier to go into a resting mode. Okay, so very, very important. I'm not talking about you just throwing the ball a hundred times. That's not, to, to me, that's not exercise. To me, a good proper exercise is a long walk. Migration with a backpack on and a back, uh, you know, you can hire a dog walker, but ask the dog walker, take my dogs for two hours and bring it back tired. That will be your best investment ever, besides the halo color. I hope you feel my energy. I hope you feel my intention. I hope you feel my heart. And I hope my words are giving you a, a more a natural, simple, profound way of living.
I love you. Thank you very much. And enjoy your halo moment and your halo time.